8.57 a.m. I'm going to draw your attention up here at the top of the screen, the rear end of the bus 530 is protruding out back here. We're going to start up. We're going to see it start up. And it's normal pluming. So what we have here, still the same condition after all this time. This bus is still emitting clouds of unburned fuel. Now down at the end of the block where they park it, so it won't be quite as visible to me. This is a willful disregard of public health and safety, just the same as you see these large swaths of kitty litter all over the ground from other spills that occurred overnight. You see other employees looking on at this large cloud. There is an audible sensation that goes along with these startups. This, again, being a willful disregard of public health and safety. This affects us all. It affects my neighbor at the end of the street. He, too, is now videoing this particular bus. And along with this, there's one other factor to really be explored. So we're going to go and jump ahead here. We're going to see another bus pulled in on top of that spill. And we're going to take a look and confirm the fact it is indeed bus 530, but not just that. There's one other factor to be explored here, and that's here on the rear end of the bus. And what we're seeing here is bus, clearly it's bus 530. We're going to take a look at this ad on the back, okay? These advertisers, in their own special way, are helping to support this type of behavior, are helping to support these bad decisions by purchasing advertising space on the very buses that are polluting all over our town. They, too, are perpetuating a problem. Thanks, Please Touch Museum.